1929 refurbished boathouse was the first home built on Meredith, New Hampshire's Vesey Shore Road. A boathouse with living quarters is so rare that only a few of them actually come on the market. Properties with such boathouses have in recent years sometimes brought twice the assessed value when sold. As far as the live-in boathouse, it isn't hard to see why this location was selected for this site. Two reasons readily apparent to the eye are the spectacular views from this location and the white sand beach that stretches beyond the high water mark under the crystal clear waterfront nearly as far out as the 100 foot long permanent dock and island like patio. There are ineffable other reasons as well. The gentle waters, which allow lakeside enjoyment all day without heavy winds, can only be appreciated by spending time here and comparing it to many other locations around the lake. Features include cathedral ceilings, hardwood floors, and large, nearly continuous windows that capture the lake views on three sides come to mind. Because of the easterly exposure in the lake location, you have 180 degree views, but rarely more than a pleasant easterly breeze. The boathouse has a screen porch built over the high water mark, creating the peaceful sensation that you're on a boat floating on the lake. On the main level of the boathouse is a bedroom, three-quarter bath, and even a kitchenette. On the top level is an additional bedroom. Below the one and a half story living space is room for your boat or jet skis. This lower level of the boathouse was built with beautiful stonework, which became the inspiration for the master mason stonework on the 2003 custom built home on the property. Other striking features include the koi pond and waterfall behind the gazebo, many gardens and private nooks, and views that capture everything from early morning sunrises glistening on the water to soft sunset colors lighting Beaver Island with rose-colored hues at day's end. The roadside landscape is spectacular as well, with many perennial gardens and graceful stone walls that create a landscape that is rich, colorful, and flowing. The gardens bloom from early spring to late summer. Tulips, lilies, irises, and lilac trees blossom in early spring with beautiful yellow witch hazel flowers blooming as early as February or March. A wide fur and glass door leads to the entry level of the home. The hallway leads to the living room to your left and the dining room to your right. The fireplace in the living room was painstakingly built by a mason who never cut stone, so each rock was hand-picked to fit this unique fireplace. Just to the left of the living room is the office, with the same ash flooring as the rest of the entry-level rooms. Cherry built-in desk, cabinets and bookcases line the walls of the office and another desk overlooks the panoramic views. deck outside the French doors is nearly 12 feet wide and over 48 feet long and it's the perfect spot for reading the paper early in the morning or enjoying lazy summer moments. Situated behind the dining room, the spacious kitchen has a double sink and a large island complete with an island sink. Against the back wall is a wolf stove perfect for the serious cook. Every detail is thought out in the kitchen, including a powerful vent above the double oven to draw odors up and out of your living space. There's a sub-zero refrigerator, Bosch dishwasher, Marvel, and a wine refrigerator, all with panels that match the rest of the custom cabinetry. Additional built-ins were designed to store and display trays and teapots. At the other end of the entry level is the sunroom, with a picturesque view over the boathouse, across the lake to Red Hill, the Ossipees, and across the lake to Wolfboro and the mountains beyond. 
high-performance sunglass on these south-facing windows is also used on the east-facing windows of the home. An herb garden planted just outside the sunroom on the roadside of the house is encircled by a stone wall that matches the mosaic character of all of the stonework in the house. Behind the office wall is the master suite that has a long private entrance away from the roadside entrance. Off the hallway in the master suite are his and hers walk-in closets with built-in shelving. Thoughtfully designed to keep out early morning sun, the master suite overlooks the lovely roadside gardens. The master bath has a custom tile shower with clear glass doors and white trim. The twin vanity has granite countertop that is a rich autumn color with ivory streaks. The lower level family room is warm and inviting with another genuine New Hampshire fieldstone fireplace and a wet bar with crimson cabinets. The family room opens with French doors to a peaceful private porch with continuous glass lakeside and stone walls on opposite ends. The porch's exterior log siding matches perfectly the log siding on the 1929 refurbished boathouse. The elevation of the house allows you to enjoy magnificent views over the boathouse that's nestled into the shoreline. A theater room behind the family room has crimson built-in cabinetry that matches the bar in the family room and a two-level floor for optimal viewing. The hallway outside the theater leads past a bonus room with a pretty lake view. The bath directly behind this bonus room has beautiful seafoam green wainscoting and cabinetry. At the end of the hall just beyond the bonus room is a large laundry room with requisite sink and a folding counter and many additional built-in cabinets with a natural white glaze. The long built-in desk has the same natural white glaze as the cabinetry. Two of the upper-level bedrooms also share remarkable panoramic lake and mountain views. All four of the upper-level bedrooms are en suite with full baths. No matter how many times you look at this view, it is absolutely stunning.